Vice President Kamala Harris absolutely torched, totally destroyed Donald Trump and the entire Republican Party during her speech at a campaign event in North Carolina today. You know, Vice President Harris has been on fire recently, as she always is, but especially now, at this very important moment in the campaign, she's just out there prosecuting the case against Donald Trump perfectly. And specifically in this speech, she focuses on the Republican Party's new claim that they're the party of unity, that they're the group who's going to bring the country together. And VP Harris says, huh, hold on now, hold on now, not so fast. And she completely debunks their argument in this speech perfectly. So I'm going to show you the clip. We'll talk about it a little bit, but here is that amazing video of VP Harris. In recent days, they've been trying to portray themselves as the party of unity. But here's the thing, here's the thing. If you claim to stand for unity, you need to do more than just use the word. You cannot claim you stand for unity if you are pushing an agenda that deprives whole groups of Americans of basic freedoms, opportunity, and dignity. You cannot claim you stand for unity if you are intent on taking reproductive freedoms from the people of America and the women of America. Trying to ban abortion nationwide as they do and restrict access to IVF and contraception as their plan calls for. You cannot claim to be for unity if you try to overturn a free and fair election and threaten and threaten to terminate the United States Constitution. Yeah, exactly. Republicans are just a lot of this, just a lot of talk, no action. You know, there's a famous phrase out there that VP Harris just kind of touched on that feels very applicable. Actions speak louder than words. Your words only matter as much as your actions. And so far, since the Republicans proclaim themselves to be the party of unity, well, we're not seeing much action. We're quite seeing, we're actually seeing quite the opposite of action in terms of unifying the country. I mean, we're all watching the Republican National Convention right now that's taking place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Every single speaker that gets up on that stage blames Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris for literally everything. Every single issue that's happening in the United States, even abroad, things that are happening in other countries, they blame Joe Biden for. They blame him for earthquakes. They blame him for hurricanes. They blame him for volcanoes, basically is what they're saying up on that stage. So I don't know. I don't think that's very unifying. And talk about the issues. I mean, as Vice President Harris just touched on, this is the same party that took reproductive rights away from millions of women, just like that, just like that, right? It's gone. I would love for the Republicans to go to these Republican states like Mississippi, where a 10-year-old girl was assaulted and forced to give birth, or in the state of Texas, where Kate Cox needed a medically necessary abortion, had to flee the state to get it after being denied by the attorney general. I want them to go look those women in the eyes and tell them, no, we're unifying. Just trust us. Just trust us. We're unifying. And remember, this is the party that denied an election in 2020. They tried to throw out our voices, 81 million votes, 81 million Americans went to the polls and voted for Joe Biden. And they wanted to throw out those votes so Donald Trump could remain in power. Then there was an insurrection. Then Donald Trump was convicted of crimes and then called the justice system fake and sent his supporters after it, which they still to this day claim the FBI is fake, the DOJ is fake, the CIA is fake. All of these agencies are fake. That's not very unifying. And let's just focus on specifically the Trump shooting right? The assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Since that shooting, every major Democratic leader has come out saying, it's awful. We condemn the violence. We hope Donald Trump is well. We wish his family well and a speedy recovery. And for anybody in the crowd, we hope they're well as well. Now, that's a Democratic point. On the Republican Party side, we have people like J.D. Vance and Marjorie Taylor Greene blaming the Democrats for it, saying that somehow the Democrats were behind it. Is that unifying? Is that the party of unity? No, I don't think so. And also, in addition to this point, remember what happened when there was political violence against the Democratic Party? Remember when Paul Pelosi almost died after a lunatic, a MAGA lunatic, hit him in the head with a hammer? And thankfully, thank God, the police were on the scene to take care of it and save his life. Remember that? Remember how all the Democrats said, 
oh, that's terrible. That's awful. And gave their well wishes to both Paul Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi. The Republicans, like Donald Trump and his family, made fun of it. They made fun of it. Here's a video of Donald Trump mocking the, the, the tragedy, the awful assault of Paul Pelosi. And we'll stand up to crazy Nancy Pelosi who ruined San Francisco. How's her husband doing, by the way? Anybody know? And she's against building a wall at our border, even though she has a wall around her house, which obviously didn't do a very good job. How's her husband doing, he says. And the crowd laughs. The crowd laughs. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Unifying. This is what Don, Donald Trump Jr. posted on his Instagram after the event, saying, got my Paul Pelosi Halloween costume ready. The party of unity, ladies and gentlemen. The party of unity, that's what they claim. They're making fun of political violence that happens on the left. They're calling Joe Biden Hitler, saying he's responsible for every single issue ever. And saying the most divisive things ever like Donald, or excuse me, like Joe Biden is responsible for the shooting that happened to Donald Trump. It is awful. It's wrong. And for them to claim that they're the party of unity is laughable. And I love how Vice President Kamala Harris just completely exposed that joke of an argument that Republicans are trying to tell us. They're trying to say it with a straight face. They're trying to look us in the eyes, the American people, and tell us that they are the party of unity. After everything they've said and done to this country, <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. VP Harris is right to call him out. She's right to point out the truth. I'm thankful for her. And, uh, you know, I expect her to continue to do that in the coming weeks and days on the Biden-Harris campaign. So anyway, folks, I just wanted to show you this amazing video of our fantastic, wonderful Vice President Kamala Harris slamming the Republicans, exposing them for their hypocrisy. It's always a good day when that happens. It's always a great day, isn't it? So anyway, I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes an incredibly long way. Also drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all this. Share the video with anybody you think needs to see it. And as always, I appreciate you being here and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.